내가 Here comes Kobe, a little off balance, but it drops inside, and one. Kobe Bryant just carrying this team. Holding over to Kobe. Bryant, a clutch three. The Lakers within one. Come on now. What can he do? Lakers down three. Kobe right here, trying for the tie. Ryan in the corner, draws the double over and Roy over both. It's in for 63. Come on. The defense has not been able to find an answer for him. Talk about taking over. He's been special. This is one for the ages. It's a 65-point game for Kobe Bryant, the second-best scoring performance of his career. Seven consecutive losses. Injuries slipping in the standings. Nothing is going right for the Lakers. Will Kobe and company finally get a win tonight? Or will the Blazers add to the Lakers' misery? Dusk in the City of Angels. Just a fantastic day here in Los Angeles. Good evening, everyone, from Southern California. It's the Staples Center, filled to capacity. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This proud Lakers team and fan base, my goodness, they have seen a lot of losing of late Mike Fratello. What is going on? And they're not used to this. Phil Jackson is on his first ever seven-game losing streak. The Lakers losing by 25 in back-to-back -back games, first time in franchise history. L.A. is normally in the title mix. Right now, they're just hoping to make the playoffs. And, Coach, we know the Lakers getting in very early this morning from Denver. So, Clark, this is a beat-up team that is in a desperate state to win. Exactly. They are tired, and they're struggling. But they have one thing going for them, Kobe Bryant. It's been another stellar season for Kobe, and tonight will be a huge test for him. Let's see if Bryant can will this team to victory. Right now, the starting five for Coach Nate McMillan and his very young Trailblazer team. Rookie of the Year frontrunner Brandon Roy is at the two with Jared Jack at the point. Ime Udoka and leading scorer Zach Randolph are the forwards. And the second overall pick of the draft, LaMarcus Aldridge is the center. And for the struggling Laker team and Coach Phil Jackson, their five at guard, Smoosh Parker and the All-NBA force, Kobe Bryant. Sasha Bujicic, a late addition to the starting lineup, replacing Luke Walton, is the three. The front line, do it all, power forward, Lamar Odom. And first overall pick, Kwame Brown. And guys, Kobe switching from the number eight to 24 during the offseason, telling us the change is about growth, a new mentality, maturing as a player and as a man. Yeah, Kev, let's remember, Kobe entered the league at just 18 years old, very young. Bryant had so much success wearing that number eight jersey, three titles, but he is ready for a new era. And I think he'll give us some memories wearing 24 as well. Now this Laker team tonight seems a little bit sluggish. They had issues getting from Denver back to L.A. last night. And our David Aldridge has the inside story there. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. After that loss last night in Denver, the Lakers didn't get back until A until 6 a.m. this morning. Mechanical issues with their plane after boarding. The Lakers had to deplane and hang out in the small private terminal for three hours. They eventually left Denver at 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time. We'll see how much Los Angeles has left in the tank. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. No rest for these Lakers. Mike, how's that affect them tonight? It'll have a big effect. Remember, they played last night at altitude, too, making tonight's game even more challenging. Mike, Kobe is on a heater of late. Wow. Averaging over 35 points per game during his last six games. It's been a month since he scored less than 25 in a game. Coming in hot. Brian sees an opening and dives inside for the throwdown. Here's Randall. After the basket by Los Angeles, over Odom. 
Here's Aldridge, and it's blocked by Brown. Well, Clark, this is a welcome sight for the Lakers. Lamar Odom is out there for L.A. Such a key part of this team, Kevin. I mean, he's been nursing that into his left shoulder. After missing five games, Lamar returned last night in Denver. And quite expectedly, the Lakers lost all those games he missed. Last night in Denver, the Lakers falling 113 to 86 to the Nuggets. L.A. just 3 of 22 from three-point range. That was a tough night for the Lakers, yet on the other side, the answer, Allen Iverson, 14 points, 13 assists. Melo had a game-high 26. Denver leaping over the Lakers into the sixth seed in the West. Here's Kobe after the made shot from Zach Randall. And Bryant throws it down hard! Bryant able to elevate and levitate once he takes flight. Just enjoy the show, folks. Bryant's gone three for four here from the field. Randolph, a screen on Bryant. Here's Roy, and it's in there. Roy's got eight points. I think the defense gave him a bit of a gift there. I mean, he got all the space he needed to go to work. Aldridge against Bryant. You really like your chances when Brown has the ball down low. Such a massive human to defend. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. A free throw good from Brown. Jamal McGlure, he's checked in for Zach Randolph. And Brown drops them both. Boy, just not serviceable at the line, and it is a glaring weakness on the back of Brown's basketball card. This is the back end of a back-to-back -back for the Lakers, Mike. What's it like to coach in one of these situations? Well, you usually coach the front end like a normal game. Try to win that one. Tonight, you just hope your stars can give you enough minutes. With how big Odom is, you better really knock him off his shot. Aldridge sets up the pick now for Roy. Here's McGuire. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the game right now. That free throw, no good. Certainly not his strength, but McGlure, to his credit, doing the best he can from the line. McKee's checked in for the Lakers. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Parker against Jack. Parker kicks to Brown. The rebound by McGlure. And so Jack will bring it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. They trail by one. McGlure, the pass to Aldridge. Outside Jack. Lock at six. Fires the three. Goes back up. I love that from McGlure. Forcing his way to the line, using his almost seven-foot frame. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. And the Lakers making a change here. Turioff has checked in. So he hits one of two from the strike. Well, right before tip-off, we got word the Lakers were making a late change to the starting lineup. Luke Walton was scratched. He's got a sore ankle. Sasha Vujicic replaces Walton at small forward. Impressive anticipation on the lead pass. Putting it right on the money for his teammate. And so here's Portland. After the basket by Los Angeles. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Roy. You know, with all his post moves, Aldridge usually is able to trick the defense, but even when he doesn't, he'll still manage to finish through contact. And Clark, with this already hurting Lakers team, not Adam Luke Walton is a big blow. Yes, it is. I mean, Walton really wanted to play. He missed 21 straight games with this ankle injury, then played 29 minutes last night in Denver. The trainer's telling Luke he could not play this back end of the back-to-back. -back. Walton very disappointed and upset. And that's a major loss for the Lakers tonight. Here's Bryant following the basket by LaMarcus Aldridge. To the middle, here's Odom. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Well, I love his savvy. His instincts are fantastic. Lamar Odom is a joy to watch play basketball. Play with it. Guarded now by Lamar Odom. Nice D from Odom. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. 
And McKee kicks to Parker. Here's Bryant. Roy with the rebound. Portland trailing here. This is Phil Jackson's 16th year as a head coach. The current seven-game losing streak is the longest of his career. Hey, look. When you've coached Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, there aren't going to be too many losing streaks on your resume. But I do know this has been very frustrating for Phil. The Zen master trying all of his tricks to get this team back on track. Here's McKee after Jared Jackson scored. There's a screen. Here's Bryant. Here's Turioff. And Turioff slams it in. Turioff snatching that board with those long arms of his and put it right back up. I love it. It's been a couple minutes, Coach, since they led in this game. They'd love to change that here. Kobe against Roar. Pass to Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. Boy, I sure hope this offense continues to percolate like this because if it does... We could be in for a doozy. Who doesn't like a high-scoring game? Well, now that I think about it, maybe some defensive coaches. McKee, the pass to Odom. 102 left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at five. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Out left to the wing. Jack with the three. The Lakers with the rebound. And McKee kicks to Parker. Kobe against Roy. I hit the pass to Turioff. McKee for three. That shot off the mark. The defense has to feel fortunate with that miss. He's not usually the guy you want to leave open from downtown. Six second difference between the shot and game play. And the dunk by Aldridge. Boy, at 6'11", Aldridge makes this look really easy. All he needs is the right positioning, and it's over. Bryant looking it over. Over Roy. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The thing I love the most about Kobe is Will. Bryant plays with a fire that is unmatched. You add that to his talent, you have an incredible basketball player. Both free throws good for Bryant. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. From deep three-point territory. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. Kobe Bryant getting it done for Los Angeles. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We come back right after this. Welcome back to downtown Los Angeles, the Staples Center. Second quarter getting started. And Kobe Bryant currently second in the NBA in scoring. Mike, last year, Kobe averaged over 35 points a game. It was the highest mark, as we know, in the league since Michael Jordan back in 1987. This year, Kobe is at 29.1 points per contest. He's right behind Carmelo Anthony, who is at 29.8 per game. Right behind Kobe, Agent Zero Gilbert Arenas scoring 28.9 points a night. It'll be a fun three-horse race down the stretch. A gifted passer Lamar Odom is embracing his point forward role. Here's Dickow, covered by Parker. Shoots from the right block, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the Lakers get called for the foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one at the line is good. You know, I think what's great about Zach Randolph is his workmanlike approach. He's all business out there. He puts in the sweat and the grit at both ends. And the Lakers making a change here. Brown's checked in. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Bryant 
Oh, the agility and finish of Kobe Bryant. Great first quarter for Kobe Bryant, Clark. His team needs that from him tonight. Zero doubt about it, guys, for the Lakers to do anything in the playoffs. They need Kobe to be the best player in the NBA, to play at an MVP level. And you need that level of defense to stop him. Odom kicks to Kobe. Odom against Rodriguez. Odom down low. Shoots over Rodriguez. Odom, no good. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. You gotta set those feet. Great call for the situation, too. No doubt he was moving there. Vujicic is checked in for McKee. Portland also making some changes. Jamal McGlure is checked in for Randall. Udoka comes in for Rodriguez. And it's Roy in for Dickow. Now here is Aldridge. Eight points for him. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the Lakers get called for the foul. The Trailblazers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. You know, players like Aldridge are a little bit of a uh, diminishing breed in the NBA. A master in the low post with all sorts of ways to score in the paint. Here's Kobe. 12 points for him. Kobe down Let it the goes. Home. Take that rack what down. A slam. Slicing them up. Kobe so slick on the drive. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Well, Luke Walton was in the original lineup we were given. However, he was ruled out right before tip off. You know, that's a very rare occurrence in the NBA. So, David Aldridge, what are you hearing from the Lakers? Well, Kevin, Luke played for the first time last night in six weeks because of that sore ankle. Now, the plan was for him to play both ends of this back-to-back. -back. However, the Lakers training staff did not like how he was moving pregame. It was their call, not Luke's, for him to sit out tonight. I'm told Walton is very upset in the locker room. Kevin? Ah, uh, David, that's really tough for Luke, but give the trainers credit for having the players' best interest. This is why he's a focal point of their offense, because they trust in his ability to shoulder them when needed. And Brian kicks to Bujicic. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Bryant's got four assists now tonight. Nailing the mid-range. Bujicic, the Slovenian, getting it done. Now, here's Roy. Ten points for him. Brian up top. He's covered by Roy. Roy against Bryant. Brown with a screen on Roy. Kobe, the basketball. And the layup falls. Brown's got the lead up to two now for Los Angeles. There's Kobe drawing the defense's attention and then making a play for his teammate. Aldridge against Brown. Uses both hands to slam it down. What a boost a finish like that can be. Wow. Rocking the rim, making him pay, and smiling back the other way. He had a bitter room and wanted to send a message in this close game. We've got more than a month, Clark, left in the season, but there is zero doubt that Brandon Roy will win the Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I concur. I mean, Roy's been Rookie of the Month the previous two months. Looks like he'll win it in March, too. Had a knee injury to start the season, but since he's come back, he has been incredible. 16-4-4 and four is what he's averaged. He's like a 6-6 point guard, playmaker, score. His future's so bright. Now here's Jones, following the miss by Kobe Bryant. No good on that one. Here's Odom. Left side, Brown. Odom a screen. Here's Parker on the dunk by Parker. That's just good, smart basketball. Simple and smart. Saw he had a window and took it. Well done, Smush Parker. Outside, Jones. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Brandon Roy with the slam. Way to set up the alley-oop. Oh, the catch and flush. If they can come all the way back, we'll remember that one. Now here's Kobe. 14 points for him. And they recover it. Kobe knows exactly what he's doing. Clever, crafty. He's able to disrupt the defense and get what he wants. Jones against Parker. On the wing, Brandon Roy. 
Kicks it out to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. McClure, the pass to Jones. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. It's been three weeks, Mike, since the Lakers won here in Staples in L.A. Back on February 23rd. And that night, they beat the struggling Celtics 122-91. Yeah, Boston is 19-45, and last in the East. Kobe had 38 in that victory. They aren't used to this in L.A. These home fans hungry for a win. I like how Bryant takes contact on the way up. This guy is very good at feeling out the defense and, and absorbing that contact and still capitalizing. Man, what a game from Kobe. This guy is unreal. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. It's time here for the Lakers. Tony Terry off. He's checked in for Brown. Cook comes in for Odom. And it's Formar in for Parker. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Randolph comes in for McGlore. And Jack subbed in for Jones. Now here's Randolph. He's got six. Jack surveying the D. Outside Roy. Over Kobe. Off the left rim and out. Portland is looking for their first season sweep of the Lakers in 13 years. The 93-94 season was the last time the Blazers won every meeting against the Lakers. Clyde, the Glide, Drexler and company winning all five meetings with L.A. back then. Now, these teams face off just three times per year. Utoka, stolen by Vujicic. Three off in the post. Aldridge is there. Kobe, the pass to Cook. Good, and the assist goes to Bryant. Bryant's got six assists now in the game. Too much focus on the ball handler. Cook finding a seam to score. Now here's Roy. 12 points for him. To stop the drought, he squares up and sinks it. Roy's got 14 points for the game. Keep these handles, folks. A spin move like that is how you shake the nearest defender up for good. Kobe passes to Cook. Outside for Kobe. To the paint. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. There's the pick. On the top of the key. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Aldridge has got four rebounds now tonight. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That one's in there. The Lakers lead has cut down to just two points with the bucket from Zach Randolph. Outside, Bryant. In the corner, Cook with it. Back to Kobe. Shot from the wing. Here's Turioff. Off with the layup. He's able to get it in close, but what a reaction by the defense. Getting there to shut him down. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Lakers lead by two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Glistening downtown Los Angeles. So much activity around the Staples Center. We're back from halftime with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan from Southern California. It has been an odd season for the Lakers, Mike. Two months ago, this team was 26 and 13. They were third in the West, but they've hit a rough patch of late, and it has not been pretty. Just 7 and 19 since that nice start. 
Scoring outside of Kobe has been a massive issue for L.A. Outside Aldridge. Back to Roy. Floats one up. Aldridge dishes to Yudoka. Roy from outside. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field. Eight of 14. One of Roy's specialties is the catch and shoot. Outstanding in that regard. Outside, Kobe passes it to Brock. And it's out of bounds. And they see the last touch by Bryant. Well, Mike, the playoff race clearly in the West, a crowded one. Earlier tonight, the Clippers won in Charlotte, and New Orleans beat the Knicks. And currently up in Oakland, the Warriors have a big lead on the Timberwolves. It's really tightened up of late. And Clark, really, Los Angeles went from a shoe-in for the playoffs to a team very much fighting now to make it in. They did hit a rough patch, Kevin. There's no denying that. I mean, when you get Portland, the team with the third worst record in the West at home, you've got to win a game like that tonight. Odom, no good. Portland leading. Yudoka kicks to Jack. This is it to Yudoka. Here's Aldridge. It's rebounded by Bryant. That's a quality shot right there. It just didn't fall for him. Hey, they don't all end in scores. Great execution, and they're happy that they had that kind of a chance. We've seen Clark five lead changes so far. Neither team is able to pull away. And because of that, Kevin, I just feel like this game is going to come down to the wire. Here's Randolph. Lamar Odom picking up that last basket. Crafty move. Randolph. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Lamar Odom picks one up. Defending Randolph? You know he's got every trick in the book. And yet he still finds a way to trick you. And Randolph drops them both. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. During the offseason, Clark, Devin George signing with Dallas. That means outside of Kobe, every player from those three-peat Laker teams is gone. Yeah, you look at the roster, and it's just Kobe and Luke Walton left from that last finals team in 04. We're seeing this all around the league, though, Kevin. More player movement. Just two to shoot. Shot by Odom, no good. Kobe against Roy. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Really hard to contain Randolph, especially from this area where he goes really hard at the defense. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. The first one falls. Randolph, two shots. And Zach Randolph drops them both. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Brown sets a screen for Bryant. Feeds it to Brown. And it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting it. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. Just straight tricking the defender with the shot fake. This is how it's done. Odom with the screen for Bryant. Kobe going to work inside. Assertive move. You can tell this game's heating up. Portland leading by three. The trade deadline passing a few weeks ago, Mike. The big deal was made in December with former MVP Allen Iverson sent to Denver. The answer, joining forces with Carmelo Anthony. Those Nuggets are potent offensively. Who out the Lakers last night? I have no idea how you defend both of those guys. Here's Bryant after the made shot from Zach Randolph. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Roy passes to Randolph. That ball. Great assist by Brandon Roy. Roy's got assist number five here tonight. Randolph turned up right now, guys. Serves as a huge energizing boost to his team. Kobe with it. Picked up by Aldridge. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that was pretty obvious. The Lakers have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Tony Turioff, he's checked in for Los Angeles. 
now Randolph he's got 16. Down low, here's Aldridge. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Aldridge has got the lead up to seven now for Portland. Selfless pass by Rambo. Didn't like what he saw for himself, so he gives it up. Parker finds Bryant. Spins. Goes up with a strike. Second shot opportunity. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Randolph's got four rebounds in this game. Well, Mike, there's only a month left in this season. Let me put you on the spot as I love to do. Who is your MVP? I go with Dirk Nowitzki. His Mavs are 53 and 11, running away with the West. Coming off that finals appearance, Dirk has taken his game to another level. He could go 50, 40, 90. Now here's Parker, following the shot by Jared Jack. Odom with the screen for Bryant. And it's good, two points. Kobe's got 22. But right now, Kobe's turned that grease on the stove up, folks. He is on fire. Keep getting in the ball, please. Jack passes to Roy. Pass to Randall. And slam dunk by Randall. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Just <laughs> hanging up there. He is. Put some extra emphasis on that jam. Man. Was that special? Hey, bit of look at me up here. Got to be careful with that. Here's Roy. Lamar Odom picking up that last basket. Jack passes to Randall, and Randolph throws it down. We've been treated to a great offensive outing from Kobe Bryant. Clark, another monster game from him. Hey, look, Kevin. No player in this league means more to a team than Kobe Bryant, and he's on tonight. And as a fan. This is really fun to see. The handles Colby has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. Lakers trail by five. Here's Parker. And the dunk by Parker. Self-starting right there. Taking initiative big time. And you expect that from the floor general that he is. He's a leader, and the team trusts his decision-making. Boy against Kobe. Outside Roy. Lamar Odom pulls it in. Odom's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Kobe. It's in. Kobe's reached the 25-point mark for the 15th consecutive game. How about the concentration from Kobe? Just powering through that contact. A different look now for Portland. McGore, he's checked in for Aldridge. Jones comes in for Udoka. And Rodriguez is subbed in for Jack. The Trailblazers on offense. Roy passes to Randall. Parker against Rodriguez. Here's Randolph. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And Odin's got the ball here for the Lakers. This is what Kobe does and is. He hits the tough shot. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. Mike, here we are talking about the NBA this season. It is very clear the West is the stronger conference. The best four records in the league are all in the West. Remember, six of the last eight titles have been won by the Western Conference. The Lakers are fighting for a playoff spot. If they were in the East, they'd be in the postseason easy. That's Randolph's bread and butter. He works all the angles. And the Lakers have possession. Here's Bryant. He has 29. Here he goes. Good! He's got 15 points this quarter. Boy, what a great athlete Kobe Bryant is. Man, watching him take flight and jam it down doesn't get much better than that. Rodriguez. Pujicic grabs the miss. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Parker outside for Kobe. Releases from 15. That misses off the backboard. Outside Roy. And that one released in time, but no good. Great anticipation by Odin. 
he is smart. And so it's Kobe Bryant making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. And we'll be back with you shortly. We are set for the final quarter of play. L.A. and Portland finishing things up here from Staples. And here are the Trailblazers now, trailing by two. McCork last year was the first season of the draft under this new CBA. The biggest change, no more jumping straight from high school to the NBA like Kobe Bryant did 11 years ago. Yeah, that's been modified a bit, so we're seeing these so-called one-and-done guys. They've got to be 19 and one year removed from their high school graduating class to get drafted. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to change the pro and college games. Here's Jones following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Dickow, the pass to McGlure. Six to shoot. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Dickow's shot is off. Lakers leading by four. And here's Kobe. To the inside. Stolen by Randolph. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. And Randolph throws it down. Much muscle on that dunk from Randolph. Going all out with the throw down. Ryan against Jones. Kobe passes to Turioff. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. You know, deflections are key. They're big in this league. You want to be disruptive to the other team's offense. Yeah, little tips like that, they can frustrate opponents. Despite pretty much no sleep last night, Mike, Kobe Bryant is having another incredible game. Well, he's the reason that the Lakers are up. I mean, Bryant is just determined to end this losing streak, even if he has to practically do it by himself. Bryant. Lakers passing it around. Parker outside. Outside Oda. Fires the three. The Lakers rebound. Out to Kobe. A three ball. He can't get it to go. Portland trailing here. Here's Jones. And he hits it to tie the game up. Really insisting on getting to the rim, even against great opposition. Sometimes willpower is better than manpower. He just wanted it. Now here's Kobe. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Boy, nice job on the pick. Turioff did his job and then found space to roll for the score. Well done. Turioff's gone two of four from the field. Rodriguez kicks to McGlure. Back to Rodriguez. Now the pass to Jones. Here's Dickow to take the lead. A rebound by the Lakers. Kobe's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Turioff slams it in. At 6-4, Parker can see over most other point guards. Excellent vision by Smush. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. The Lakers making a switch here. Rounds checked in. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Aldridge, he's checked in for Randall. Udoka comes in for Jones. Brandon Roy, he's checked in for Sergio Rodriguez. And Jack subbed in for Dickow. Great defense that time by Kobe. Elite at that end of the floor, too. And he knocks down the first one. And he can't hit the second. And so Brown will bring it up for the Lakers. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Well, after the 6 a.m. arrival this morning, a game in Denver Clark last night for the Lakers, you have to wonder how much do the Lakers have left in the tank? 
Well, this to me is all about who did the extra reps during the offseason conditions, preparing for nights just like this. The Blazers were off last night. They were already in L.A. while the Lakers were facing the Nuggets. This will be quite a challenge for this beat-up Lakers team. Kobe with it, picked up by Aldridge, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I'll tell you what, Bryant keeps relentless pressure on the defense by staying in attack mode, making them foul him. Both free throws good from Bryant. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Aldridge with a screen on Bryant. Bryant against Roy. To the left side wing. Yudoka dishes to Roy. Launches from deep. And no good. Some solid defense from Kobe. Odom on the wing. From outside the arc. Los Angeles with another miss. Trail Blazers trail by five. Yudoka passes to Jack. And he drives in. Here's McClure. Tries yet again. And it's good on the layup. And McClure knows how to use his size on the glass. Outstanding work right there. Lakers leading by three. Now here's Kobe. Right side Odom. The kick out to Bryant. Shot clock at six. Fades. Here's Brown. Parker outside. And it's Portland with the rebound. Here's Udoka. Pass to Roy. Outside Aldridge. Here's Jack. Covered by Parker. Roy from outside. They get the rebound. Because he knows how to come through, you know exactly why they go to Aldridge in these spots. Odom with it. Dishes it to Parker. Back to Odom. It drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his eighth assist in the game. Now a timeout called by Portland. Tony Turioff has checked in for Kwame Brown. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Zach Randolph, he's checked in for Jamal McGlure. Randolph, a screen on Bryant. Roy passes to Randolph. Yep, it counts. Randolph's got 18 points just in the second half. He has been in these situations before, fellas. Not phased at all by the pressure. Jack against Parker. Driving to the basket. He dishes it to Bujicic. Here's Kobe. Randolph grabs the board. Randolph's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Roy. Oh, and they take the lead. And that's 21 points for Brandon Roy. Well, I would think Roy has to be pleased with his play right now. It always feels good when you find your rhythm out there. Kobe thrives under pressure when his team needs a hoop. He's the man to get it for him. Roy is doubled, and it's Aldridge, top of the key. Outside Roy. Here's Randolph. Bank shot, no good. They got a great look. Close in. Sometimes the ball just doesn't go through the hoop. It's stolen by Jack. Here's Yudoka, covered by Vujicic, and he drops in the layup off the glass. You gotta like how tough Udoka is. He doesn't allow tough defense to alter his shot. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Bryant drives in. It's 
tipped. They get it back. Here's Vujicic. And they're moving it up. No good from Jack. That's one that almost always goes down. Yep. As you said, almost. This is the rare miss from there. Hey, if you can't force the turnover, that's not a bad foul. Well, at least they're slapping the clock. That's not the worst case scenario for them. At the line for two. And he does get the second one. And that ties the game up. Had an opportunity for more there. We'll see if it comes back to bite him. Now a timeout called by Portland. It's tied at 78. 35 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Lighting it up like this. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now Kobe. Drives to the hoop. It's off. The kick out to Odom. For the win. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And Mike, the Lakers losing streak continues. Eight in a row, and they are barely still hanging on, as you know, to their playoff position. Down the stretch, something has to change for L.A. Kobe can't do everything offensively. Hey, Clark, did this Lakers team look tired to you at all? They did, Kevin, just a little bit. Getting zero rest in between a back-to-back -back is hard. But that's life in the NBA. I mean, you have to figure out a way to work through it. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.